Hey there folks, I'm meteorologist Matt Barrington. Happy Wednesday to you. We are starting off with some rain continuing on a southwest flow here on our Wednesday morning. You see these showers will continue to spread sort of southwest to northeast across the area. As they move inland, they get weaker, so there will only be some light showers for folks that are going to be off to the inland counties. If you're in the coastal counties, you have a better chance of getting some decent rain, maybe even some thunder and lightning out of this. You'll see that in the future cast. They don't make their way a whole lot north of I-10 as we go through the morning and then they kind of move offshore. We don't see a whole lot more of that rain as we head past lunchtime. We'll get a couple of isolated sprinkles here and there in the afternoon, but really it's going to be more of a morning event for us today with the rain. So hopefully by the afternoon you won't see as much here around the area. Temperature wise, it's going to be pretty muggy. That's going to be the way it is here. It's a Daphne camera and we're looking at temperatures in the upper 70s, low 80s through the rest of the morning by the afternoon. A lot of areas won't even get to 90 degrees today. It's going to be just overcast, muggy. There'll be some of those spotty showers out there in the afternoon. Once again, in the afternoon, it'll be more spotty. Won't be as many uh, showers around. This evening, <laughs> I'm calling it oppressive mugginess. <laughs> oh, doesn't that sound beautiful? Uh, it's a July evening out there for us. Low 80s out there at around 8 o'clock. So if you got some things to do after work, it's just going to be super sticky out there for us tonight. Uh, here's your beach forecast. It's not great today. We've got the rain, obviously. We've also got a high rip current risk. Today's not going to be a good beach day at all. Things do improve. We go down to medium tomorrow, then low on Friday. So that is the good news. So things are better the next couple of days down at the beach. So I would just put it off today. Head down there in the next couple of days. Check your beach flags as always. Here's your forecast as we wrap up the week, go into the weekend. It's a very typical July forecast be after today where we're going to be seeing hot and humid conditions, scattered storms. These will mainly be in the afternoon, Thursday, Friday, then going into the weekend as well. Of course, Saturday, red, white and blues on Pensacola Beach and get down there. It looks like we'll have pretty decent weather for that as well. The rain chances at the beach will be a little bit lower, probably about 20 to 30 percent. So hopefully be able to stay away from the showers and storms. It's going to give you that long, long range forecast takes you into next week. And you don't really see much change except for the fact that it will get hotter back up into the mid 90s by this weekend and going into next week. So be prepared for those uh, sizzling temperatures. The showers and thunderstorms will continue to be scattered.